first of all, I would like to ask if any of you have ever seen anyone less fortunate than yourself. I assume you'd said yes. I'm part of a very entitled generation, and I often only hear my peers complaining about what they want or they don't have, but this can be very surprising that it's coming from the same generation that has just witnessed a recession. And everyone has little things they do to make themselves feel happier. I can relate by that because I shop, but another thing I can relate to that is far more important are the overwhelming feelings that come from helping someone else, feelings of joy. And I believe this is something we all need to experience. And I believe this is something we all need to experience. The, um, I recently read an interesting art article. A researcher gave a group of students $10 each. Half the students were told to go spend the money on themselves, and the other half were told to spend the money on others. The half that spent the money on others were far happier than the, spent, than the half that spent the money on themselves. Now, this makes us think. If the key to our own happiness is helping others, then the question is, how can we make kindness a habit? One of the ways I am trying to is by creating a service club at my school. The club gives students more opportunities and ideas to go out and help others as much as they can. You see, it's not just good for the beneficiaries, it's also good for ourselves. Studies show it decreases depression and stress while increasing self-esteem and physical health. I have found this to be personally true. Um, you see, school has been very challenging for me. Everything that was easy for my peers felt absolutely impossible to me. As they grew more skilled, I fell further behind and alone. Then, being diagnosed with a disorder called nonverbal learning disorder that no one had ever heard of made me feel even more isolated. NLD is a neurological syndrome that consists of deficiencies in the right hemisphere of the brain. Some indicators are visual and spatial awareness, higher order comprehension, math, math solving, social communi communication, and executive functions. And it affects my everyday life, especially my everyday school life. Some examples of that are being clumsy, getting lost, not knowing where my body is in relation to people and objects, not being able to see the big picture, and much, much more. And these can lead to feelings of failure, self-doubt, and overall, overall pretty low self-esteem. But the great feeling of knowing that you are able to help another person, that can make you feel great about yourself, and that is what I have found. One of the first times I truly experienced this when volunteering was when I was about 10 years old. I was handing out food to the homeless in Detroit. One man I was serving was so incredibly kind and wise that when I saw his, that he essentially lived in the woods, it broke my heart. I spent the rest of the day crying because of his situation. I'm embarrassed to say that every time before that, when I saw a homeless person, that is all I would see, a homeless person. But because of this experience, that's how I fell in love with helping others. No, no, even though his situation brought me sorrow, knowing that I could help him, that felt great. I could have a positive effect on his life just as he did to mine. We are always so quick to judge and stereotype. With one look, we think we, we know everything there is to know about an individual. We say, oh, that person's homeless or depressed or drunk, etc." But look at yourself. What do people say about you? Do they say you're an athlete? Do they say you're a nerd? Do they say you're stupid? Do you, they say you're spoiled? What do, you say, what do they say? And how can human beings only be one thing when we're so complex? I have always wanted to be seen in a different light. 
not as a dumb klutz, but as someone who is intelligent, kind, strong, and having a positive impact on the world. And I can imagine how others see me and come up with ideas and scenarios in my head, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna spend my time and energy on being as kind, gener generous, and as helpful to as many people as I can. Helping others is something you all can do. And once I started doing it, my own problem seemed less important and even minuscule. And it doesn't matter if you're popular and a straight A student, or what race or skin color, what race or gender you are. Helping others is something anyone can do no matter what. Helping others is something we can all do together. Thank you.